Hi everyone, Russian Sparky here. The other day I picked up a nice kit on Amazon. This impact driver from Makita. Take a look, XDT13, uh, bare tool, no battery, brushless, and uh, a set of impact bits. All right, uh, that's great. So what is this video about then? Uh, not going to give you much of a review. There's plenty of reviews of these on uh, on YouTube but I don't have a battery for this and I knew that going into this so the workaround that I found was also on Amazon this adapter see I have a ton of DeWalt batteries and this adapter will let me do just that Take a DeWalt battery, any size DeWalt battery. This is a, a tiny 1.3 amp hour. It will take any size 20 volt De, uh, DeWalt battery and make your Makita tool work off of a DeWalt battery. Now, I'll let you look at this closer. This perfectly fits Makita tools. It's got a port here so you can make a power bank out of your dual battery so if you're if you need to charge your phone while on a job site there you have it you got a charger into the bargain um, doesn't hurt the balance of the tool because if you buy this as a kit the uh, 3 amp hour Makita battery will be probably about this thick so still it's balanced nicely in my hand no trouble there. Your next question might be, well, this is an 18 volt tool. What's with a 20 volt battery? Well, that's DeWalt's own marketing ploy. They try to make it sound like they're two volts better than everybody else. I got nothing against DeWalt. I, I have their tools. Um, I use them, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mind trick, right? If you read the fine print, they will tell you that 20 volts, that's the voltage that the battery shows when fully charged with no load you apply the load it's an 18 volt battery like everybody else so there you have it they have them on ebay and amazon in different permutations that will allow you to use uh makita dewalt or milwaukee battery with uh one of the three brands like in different permutations uh, and there is also an adapter that will allow you to use, I believe, uh, DeWalt and Milwaukee on Ryobi tools. So there you have it. The advantage is that you can buy other brand tools without having to buy into their battery line, buy a charger and do all that. Just buy an adapter. This particular adapter, in case I haven't mentioned, was 20 bucks. That's about what they go for. It's fairly well made. It's... It fits nicely. It's not loose, no rattle there. The battery fit fits nicely. And uh, the reviews are good. This particular adapter is supposed to accept both DeWalt and Milwaukee batteries. I don't have a Milwaukee battery, but the reviews say that Milwaukee battery is loose when you put it in here. DeWalt fits nicely, and I can attest that it does. That's that, guys. So I guess my point is, if you have a certain line of tools and, uh, and batteries for them no need to buy or no, no need to stick with that line if you want to venture out and try a different brand you can just buy an adapter and try it that's it for now take care of yourselves be well give me likes or dislikes if i deserve them uh, spread the word let others know about my channel other than that good luck and take care